Ooh, I look. Cute. <laughs> What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another thrift haul. Oh my god, it's been so long since I filmed a freaking thrift haul and these are legit my favorite videos to do. While they're my favorite videos to do, they take forever to edit and it's a two-day filming process. So please, right now, give this video a thumbs up. Please and thank you for all my hard work. <laughs> And if you're new to my channel and you stumbled across this video, please go ahead and subscribe. I always, always film thrift related content. I'm an avid thrifter, queen. And I also sell on Depop, you knew that was coming. So if you like, you can check out my Depop right here. My handle is at Gabby Girl with three eyes. It's the emphasis on the girl. So with that being said, let's get into this thrift haul, starting with this dress. You can't really see it. Ugh. <laughs> You can't really see it, but me and my friend thrifted this um, a couple months back actually and I never showed it to you guys. It's the cutest slime green slinky mini dress with the cutest little buckle under the bust or at the waist. I'm pretty sure it's meant to be at the waist because this is a girl size. It is the most adorable thing. I wish I can show you guys. I'll probably insert a picture here or something like that so you can see where the hem meets. But it is my favorite freaking thing. I paired it with these <laughs> electric blue tights for some major Fran Fine vibes. I lately have been binging on The Nanny. It's the most freaking funniest show ever with hella hella inspo. Oh my gosh, literally a queen. But I am in love with this dress. Also, this sheet right here that is so cute and such a vibe was thrifted to tip if you are a reseller and you can't afford right now the freaking fancy backdrops or you don't have the space like i do literally get you some sheets sis like these come in clutch and you can find so many different ones of the thrift vintage ones of course just everything i, I freaking love it so with this haul i'm going to be starting off with the tops as always so the first top that i have is i believe an 80s era you can see the tag is freaking amazing. This tag is literally embroidered. Like the tag itself is embroidered. You can't see, but it is legit embroidered. And it's the cutest thing. The brand is Suzy Q, made in the USA, of course. And it's just this mustard ketchup colorway. And it's the cutest thing ever. And it was giving me major, major Stranger Things vibes. I'm seeing so many Stranger Things lookbooks. So you're missing this piece, okay? You need this piece. This is absolutely amazing and it's so cute on like you can see from the try on it is just so darling and this is bothering me ugh ugh anyways but yeah it is just the cutest freaking polo ever another 80s era top is this crazy cool pastel amazing amazing colors i love this lilac lavender and this powder baby blue it says peco club baseball i'm assuming this was a little baseball team um, it has a little yellow pig with the red hat holding a baseball and he has a little glove. How freaking cute is this? It's just, uh, I'm gonna try not to say cute, but y'all know how it goes. Oh my gosh, like this is cute and it's freaking amazing and it fits so perfect on as you can see. So darling. I mean, come on and it's like jersey knit. The quality is amazing. The quality on all vintage items always amazes me because it's so well made. They're made to last, obviously. Like, this is amazing. Next, we have this 90s era Malibu Barbie type little crop top. It's zip up and you can see it has these amazing little daisy beads and they are just the absolute cutest with this little like ribbon floral detail on it. And it's the cutest thing. It's like um, a denim material. It doesn't have a tag to say the size, so I'm pretty sure this was a set, but it fits so good. It fits as a crop, and I mean, you can style this in so many ways. You can put a little like white long sleeve under it for the springtime, summertime. Oh my gosh, this is just the cutest thing ever. I feel like, I know I'm wearing a mock neck, but I cannot resist. Like these colors just go so well together. I mean, aren't these colors the cutest together? Oh my god, I am like getting my fantasy right now. These colors are amazing together! Oh my gosh. Okay. 
you know I just couldn't help it like just seeing them on the camera together okay so obviously because it's a mock neck it's not the cutest but sis especially that doesn't go with it but just these two colors together are amazing oh my gosh Ugh. anyways this top is adorable it's in amazing condition another neon colored cutie we have this legalized gay tank top from og american apparel circa 2012 oops and it is just amazing i love it classic og american apparel that actually stood for something and made statements such as legalizing gay marriage it is labeled a size small and men's but come on now it's definitely unisexy and would be so adorable tied up at the waist i believe in the trial and i have it tied up at the waist but it's just the freaking raddest color ever marriage equality now okay, the next top is definitely not vintage but it has that retro 90s vibe to it and then it's this color block lion king top it is so adorable and so on trend right now with the lion king movie that just came out i haven't seen it yet i actually don't even really recall seeing the first one but i know i did i just do not remember it anyways off topic it's so adorable i love the colorway like this bright yellow and this powder blue so cute and it is labeled a size large but i definitely say it's one size because the fit is still cropped just a bit oversized depending on how you like it and you can see on me i'm an extra small to small and it looks great i mean it works for all sizes and it's so freaking adorable Next type I have is this Y2K era Ralph Lauren little tank top and it reminds me of those big old circle lollipops, I'll insert the emoji here. <laughs> um, it's adorable, It's the colorway is so freaking rad and it just screams summer. So freaking cute, right? I feel like this would look adorable cropped, you know, give it a raw hem, even tied up at the waist. The quality is amazing. Next, I have this bubblegum pink tank top by New Balance, and it has a cute little, I forgot what this is called. I don't want to say kangaroo pouch, but you know what I mean. And it has the cutest little, like, it reminds me of SpongeBob for some reason, but it's like in this lavender colorway, and it has an athletic mesh hoodie so that's super cool it gave me total like y2k skater girl vibes super cute very sporty spice y2k like girly but tomboy at the same time you know what i'm saying so this is just adorable and it looks so good with some biker shorts as you can see i have a pair here pair it with your white chunky sneakers a cute little cap whatever you're feeling some hair clips whatever it's gonna look so fucking cute because this colorway is adorable for more sporty vibes we have this pink camo nike drive fit basic sports bra there's not much to say about this one but it is cute as fuck pair this with some biker shorts like i did here and like some bike forces or even them i know they have matching nikes in this colorway same camo print i will enter the picture here if i find them but that together would be fire for all my hype beast chicas chicos whatever this is cute as fuck Moving on to the last top, this is my fave. I'm a sucker for athletic wear. I work out on the daily and I'm always pretty much in athletic wear. And this top is like athletic wear, but it's safe to just wear with jeans too, I feel, because the style, it's not like your average sports top. The back is so cute. The colorway is like my favorite thing. This is Y2K era. See the little tie, I hope you guys can see it. But this is legit my favorite item. I'm debating on putting this up on my Depop or not. I might wear it a couple times before I do, but legit, hands down, one of my faves. Wow, I just realized I forgot to turn off my air conditioner. So, I truly apologize for that. <laughs> Moving on to the bottoms. I have this adorable fairy nymph, fairy kai. Nah, it's more like fairy nymph. It has this adorable tribal print all over it, tribal butterflies, there's some leopard print, some floral. Best part of all is that it's a skirt, and that makes it even more better. It has a skirt right here, the skirt overlay, and then the mesh overlay. And I actually put this on my Depop last night and it sold instantly. That's always nice. I mean, this piece is amazing. You can see from the try on, it's so freaking precious. Next is this amazing midi maxi length cherry print skirt. 
and the fabric is so soft and comfy. You can even crop this and make it into a mini skirt. Or if you are super good at tailoring, you can cut this and make it into a two-piece set, create a little halter with the bottoms. Oh my gosh, that would just be so precious. Cherries, I feel, never go out of style. They're just like animal print and plaid print. Like, they're always gonna be here. And this is just one of those. Unfortunately, this is a bit too long for my liking. Um, you can see in the try-on, it was kind of hard for me to actually get a good try-on photo because I'm only four foot eight. So it was a little difficult, but you girl tried. Next, I have this slutty schoolgirl 2000s era tartan plaid mini skirt. It's just the classic schoolgirl skirt. You can never go wrong with this. You can pair this with like a black little baby tee, some fishnets and black platforms for a little classic mall goth look. And I love this. It's super stretchy. It's labeled a small medium. And the brand is Be Wicked, which is kind of cool. Love that. This one is actually flawless. It's not too, too short, as you can see in the try-on. I mean, it makes your booty look good, sis. But nonetheless, perfect to pair with some fishnets or whatever else that you'd like. Next is this amazing, amazing 90s era mini skirt. It has this adorable print all over. It's just so much cute things going on here. And this is a squirt too, actually, again. <laughs> It's just, ugh, I freaking love squirts. They are the absolute best. Oh my gosh, love them so much. This is just amazing. I couldn't do the try on either with this one because they are a bit too big on me, but I did a really cute flat lay, so I entered that right there. And this is just so cute. I love these colors, I swear. They do not make items like this anymore. Vintage is the way to go, people. Shop secondhand. Like, you will find the cutest things, the cutest exclusive things that nobody else has. Next up, I have another score. I actually sold this exact same one sometime last year. It was a size bigger. This is a large 10 to 12 in girl, so best fit for an extra small. And it's another score. And look at how cute this colorway is. Oh my gosh. It's giving me total clueless vibes, right? So adorable. I did just hold it up to me so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. This is Dead Stock Cherokee, branded with the tags 2000s era. Next, we have these 90s era biker shorts by V-Skins. Total Microsoft Paint vibes, rest in peace. <laughs> oh my gosh, I miss Microsoft Paint. Anyways, it has the coolest print on them. Look at that, I love this colorway. So cool, so classic. You can see in the try-on, they are a bit big on me. It's not the prettiest try-on. They are a size large. So yeah, tad bit big on me, but so cute for my active chicas chicos. Anyone who wants a rad pair of biker shorts, these right here, these 2000s era faded glory, little leopard print, crazy colorway biker shorts. They're the cutest thing ever. You can see in the tryout, I think I'm just wearing a tube top, but they are so freaking cute. I feel like you can definitely dress these up, dress these down, wear with a different color tube top than what I'm wearing black. Like even with like a lime green, like there's so many fun things that you can do with a pair of crazy printed biker shorts. I love biker shorts because they're so freaking versatile. Like, I love it. Not only that, they're super flattering. And these are just right up my alley. Total, total Lisa Frank vibes. These are so freaking adorable. So moving on to the last item, I found this super cool Barbie Magnetic Fashions book and playset. This is from... 2005 so super good year and it was 50% off day so I got this for a dollar and some change and you can see look at how fly she is so it's a magnetic fashion book and playset like I said and I'm not sure if it contains all the pieces but it contains the majority it came with this super cool Barbie my fashion notebook and this book just basically has like a bunch of cool looks like Look at how cute this is. It's on the red carpet Barbie, glamorous Barbie, shopping spree Barbie. There was a page in here that was definitely my fave. We have fun in the sun, photo shoot Barbie. This one is my fave, fashion show fever. Look at how cool they are, total Y2K looks. Like, look at that, oh my gosh, look at her skirt. I just sewed like the same exact skirt like that by Angels, we all know. I think we all have that skirt. And oh, so cute, look at her hair. Oh my gosh, I love this one too. Super 70s Barbie. How good is that? Oh my gosh. 
But anyways, you guys get the gist. Super cool, a day in the park, sporty Barbie. <laughs> So it came with that book, cute little scenes. Like, look at how adorable these are. These would be so cute for some flat lay pics of just jewelry. Oh my gosh, look at baby Barbie. Oh, I forgot her name. This is so cute, like so Y2K. See, I feel like the majority of everything is in here. Alas, we have all the magnets to style her. And there is legit some cute fits in here that I was able to style. I just really like the idea of being able to put together Y2K looks as that's typically what I sell. Like you guys, look at how cute this little crop top look is with this skirt. Like, are you kidding me? So I was definitely feeling this. Some cool little inspo for me. Oh my God, that dress is to die for. Look at this dress. Like, ugh, wow. <laughs> Anyways, always check out every section of your thrift. Always check in the toy section, whatever, because you find cool things like this for under $2. Anyways, you guys, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Oh my gosh, it's been forever since I filmed a freaking thrift video. Again, I apologize, my freaking AC was on. Ugh, I hope that was not bad. Gosh, I hope that wasn't bad. Don't forget to like this video for more thrift related content. I'm always putting out thrift stuff. I'm always thrifting, so. And also don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my Depop. I will leave it right here. And I will talk to you guys later. Stay fabulous.